Hi. It's very, very, very wet outside. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see the rain, but it, it it's raining here, yeah, trust me. It's raining pretty hard. So, what do I do? What do I do? But I have a daily vlog that primarily exists outside of my house. I don't know. I think we do some yoga and then go from there. doing that today I think I'm gonna go respond to yesterday's comments basically I was up really late uploading and my internet's not very really fast here so videos take a long time to actually go up the video went up at like 7 a.m. anyway it's got a bunch of comments like some really nice comments so I'm gonna read them and respond to them also there's a uh, an outfit cup happening shortly and I'm gonna play that I think <laughs> vlog I didn't go outside today so what the heck do I make? I streamed a tournament. We performed really well. We actually won a couple of skins, in-game skins. We came like top 600 or something out of everyone that played. And then after that, I was just like, sitting in my office like, well, what do I do next? Can't exactly go outside. <laughs> it's dark. I don't know what to do on days like this. I could be working on my store, but I'm still a couple steps away from actually selling stuff there. I'm making food. I'm making some midnight food. Something really simple. I'm not that hungry. I haven't really been that hungry the past few days. I've been like skipping meals because I just don't feel 100%. So I haven't read yesterday's comments, and the video is doing pretty well, so I'm going to read and react to them on, on, on camera, I think. Hopefully there's some good comments in there. All right, guys, surprise, surprise, it's 2 a.m. again. I wanted to read some of the comments and respond to them from the last video. The video is just called, uh, in brackets, get a job, sub on your parents. I thought it was a good title because that was basically what the comment said. Yes, this video is all about a comment that someone left, a hate comment, but they deleted it. So they they came back, they went back on their word and it's just, I don't know. I don't like when people comment mean stuff and then just take it back. Soleil says, I've been getting your vlogs every night before I go to bed. I'm in Cali and it's nice to just wind down with you. I really relate to you and inspire me, you inspire me to push through the constant working without getting a break to enjoy life. I'm also working to get a place of my own and it's difficult. I appreciate how honest you are, dude. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah, it is tough and I wanted to show that I'm not better than anyone else. I'm equal to all of you. We, we're all struggling. It's flipping hard. Life is not easy. And I think it's designed that way. And I'm just f working through the process of breaking this game down and learning how to win it. Yeah, I think I'll go for a walk today. You're the only daily vlogger that I watch. I hope you keep it up, Jason. You're an interesting guy with interesting thoughts. Thank you, Uzi. I appreciate it. Love this walkie-talkie vlog. <laughs> You're the only daily vlogger I watch anymore. RIP. That's the thing. There aren't really many daily vloggers out there. Casey Nice, that was like the last big one that I used to watch. Uh, I was going to write a comment saying that people try to project their own experiences on others, but then you said everything I wanted to say yourself. Great vlog, by the way. Thank you. Do you ever pick up your dog's turds? SMH. Yeah, just because I do it off camera doesn't mean I don't, I don't do it, guys. <laughs> don't worry. I would like a barefoot update. Do you ever... Uh, do you have flat feet or low arch because of no arch support? And has your toe box spread out? What type of jobs have you worked and what company allows you to work? I struggle to get work because of my looks and style. You just got to find a job that maybe doesn't matter what you look like call centers. I don't think it matters what you look like at a call center. Any like kitchen work behind the counter, like if you're in the kitchen, like no one's gonna see you, so who cares what you look like? Movie theater? You could work the projector? No one cares what you look like there. I mean there's, there's tons of jobs. Uh, about the feet, I don't know, I don't think my feet have changed really. They're just stronger, beefier than they used to be. I don't know why people's goal is to bring other people down. I never understood that and I never will. Yeah, people are bored. People, people are bored. 
that that's just the bottom line to most harassment and hate online is people are bored they don't want to deal with their own lives so they try and nitpick other people's psychedelic actualization he said yeah it's really incredible that you're uploading daily at the moment all the respect for that it's really inspiring thank you dude i'm trying you know i'm trying it's not just the daily vlog like i'm filming like everything i'm thinking say filming the thought process of how i go about my days how i structure my days right now my sleeping pattern's so messed up that i'm not getting my proper work done like i should be out focusing on on fractals but inside in the dark most of the time it's, it's quite frustrating but also it goes hand in hand with the weather so right now there's a storm coming through and when it's stormy weather i can't really go out and make content so I, i'm indoors anyway and then my sleeping pattern just falls apart just thought of a cool video idea for the spring i really like to forage plants and mushrooms myself it'd be super cool to see you learn and then and identify what you have in your area yeah i'd be down i'd be down to do that i'd, I'd like to go out with a forager maybe someone that actually knows their stuff and then i can learn through them do you not pick your dog poop yeah there's another comment about the dog poop i do but it's off camera do i it's just you don't there's the tiny details you don't need to film that kind of stuff is there a van in your driveway your family is the thing looks super rad yeah it's my sister's okay someone left a comment about visas said it took his mom 12 years to gain residency in the united states we're moving to another country to gain residency you have to prove you have a stable job and income Some, sometimes provide details about education or what you're qualified in yeah yeah stability it sounds like stability and money this may be a bit random but i think your hair looked better in 2016 when it was blue and shorter i don't know how to react to that one like people have their preferences i like it long i'm gonna grow it forever charmander says hey your content is very relatable to me all i ever want to do is go out adventuring and create i'm a painter living in wales nice but not many friends that live by me your content gives me confidence that i can achieve anything i want to do in the near future i want to create and sell and also be my own boss i have had comments from a family member why i don't have a job but i physically can't i haven't got a stable address right now so things are a bit complicated but it's also if i get a job it's going to drain me of creative energy and end up not wanting to do anything I don't want to be like that. Yeah, 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 I feel that. I'd rather struggle for, for, for a short while rather than have a job. I'm against all that. Everyone that I have seen that do get jobs, they're always miserable. And I was like that too when I had a regular job. It's just not what I want to do because I just know there is more to life than that. I believe we came on this planet to live a life that we want. Play and learn. Not just work to grind all the time. There's more of you out there that understand that a regular job is not for everyone i think we all understand that it's not for everyone we can't all do the same thing right i can't break my spirit to just do what other people are doing i need to feel i need to i need to build in a creative space for myself so that i can do what i like to do otherwise what's the point in living if you don't get to do what you want to do smoking a j at 3 a.m or watching your vids for the first time i followed your insta forever and i'm finally glad i sat down and vibed nice jasmine well welcome welcome jasmine if you're out there Thanks for watching. That's cool that people follow me on other socials but don't watch my vlogs. I think that's kind of interesting. Because I feel like everyone that's found me has come from YouTube, but maybe not. Maybe some people come from Instagram. It's kind of cool. For some reason, I feel this video is directed at me. <laughs> maybe it was. Do I make money off of old videos? Yes, kinda. There's a lot of videos on the main channel that are demonetized now. My AdSense was removed for six months back in like 2015. And then when they re-enabled it, they didn't let me monetize all my old videos which kind of sucks because that's like millions of views that i can't monetize but it's fine those old videos don't really pull in that much views anymore anyway i would absolutely love a seven year barefoot update good good i'm glad some of you actually want to watch that i'll, I'll do it uh, i just watch you because you make me happy nice thank you very much there's a lot of people just saying they love my videos like thank you thank you okay a video from stella said a video idea ancient monuments stone circles stones mythology druidic celtic sites i've had a few comments of people asking me to like hunt down some historical sites in wales it's not something i'm super into because most of the old sites are just now rocks on the ground there's not actually any structures left i'm more interested in more modern stuff like a couple hundred year old houses that have been destroyed or like abandoned mansions there is an abandoned mansion near me that i really want to go check out but i just don't have the confidence to go do it in my own that kind of stuff is like really really risky so you can actually get in trouble for doing it and I'd, I'd rather have someone there to like back me up if anything went wrong yeah usually i don't do these like really illegal ones alone but it's in the books it's, it's something i actually want to do there are so many comments about my dog's poop the thing is guys <laughs> when i'm when i'm daily vlogging 
the stuff I do on camera and the stuff I do off camera. The off camera stuff is really mundane. Like, I don't really show any of my food preps. I don't make that a really exciting meal, so it's, it's not something I share. <laughs> like, my workouts, I don't really share any of that. Which is funny that <laughs> my dog, my dog pooping has got everyone commenting. Now I'm incentivized to like, do things to deliberately make you guys comment. If it's bringing in an in interaction and getting more views, then I should just leave that kind of stuff in. Like, I don't know, what's something else that would trigger people? I didn't do it on purpose, like, I, I just pick up poop off camera. Thanks for being honest, man, totally agree. Dude, this video got a lot of comments. Going back to Swiss, write me when you hear. I'm a blonde redhead with blue eyes, like you two. Come to Swiss to chill out. Uh, okay, I've got an invite to Swiss. Switzerland. Bro, if you move south, you're gonna stay by the nature, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. There is a lot of nature down south. I'm not looking to live near a city, I'm li looking to live deep in nature, but I just want to be closer to where my friends are. Are you selling necklaces still? No, not yet, not yet. Um, give me a tiny bit more time and then everything will be ready. Because I'm, I'm redesigning the, the graphics, the banner for the, for the, uh, the shop, the logo and everything like that. I'm redesigning all of it because I want it to be nice. So just give me some time, please. Maybe I can put that in tomorrow's vlog. I'll, I'll, I'll do a little time lapse of me drawing because that's, that's what I'm up to. Rich people can live wherever they like, but they are so busy earning money that they have no time to do anything. Then there's the people that have given a lot of money, like lottery winners. It doesn't end up too well in most cases. Be thankful for your, be thankful for your health. That's the most important thing. By the way, studies have shown that poor people are happier. Apparently, the happiest people on the planet are sl slum dwellers in India. Maybe because they have community. People actually look after each other there. They're not isolated because they're just surrounded by people. The living conditions aren't great, but you have people to live with. I think that's more important. How you generate your money should be suited to you. It doesn't matter how you do it, just work smarter, not harder. For sure, 100%. Yeah, that's what I'm always striving for, is working smarter, not harder. Yeah, okay, one of my YouTube friends, Dylan, says, we stopped posting altogether in January. It's like throwing money in a fire. That's why a lot of YouTubers won't invest any money into making videos, because their production value, their production is so expensive that they can't recoup the losses in January. They would rather just not post which is so bizarre to me. Can you not make a video without spending money? I do it. <laughs> okay, I think that's, that's all the comments, nice. So, there's a lot of support on that one, and then half the comments were just about dog poop. <laughs> there was, I said so many words, I said so much stuff in that, I just poured my heart out in that video, and people were just talking about dog poop. For crap's sake. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I'm gonna go to bed. Well, no, I'm not. I have to edit this. I'm gonna edit this, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully tomorrow the weather's nice. I really hope so. I'd like to go do something. I'm kind of feeling like playing with water. Maybe swimming. Swimming would be nice. I might do some swimming tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Bye bye. Wait, before I sign out here, I just wanted to share something I thought was cool. So my goal for YouTube is always to get to 100 million views. But I don't know why 100 million just seemed so out of reach back in the day that I didn't think it would ever be possible. We're actually getting pretty close. So across both my channels, my main channel has 48.2 million. But that doesn't include all the videos that are private. There's probably a couple more million in there. So we'll just round that up to about 50 million. And then my second channel, the vlog channel, that one's got 13.8 million. So together, that's like 60, 63, 64 million views. I didn't realize, but 10 years, 64 million views, that's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Obviously, it's nothing in the grand schemes of things, like people have way more than that, but for me, Jason, like me, Wales, 64 million people watched my videos, heard my voice, 64 million people, that's pretty crazy. Okay, anyway, yeah, I just blow my mind a little bit. But how do I get to 100 mil? That's still another 30, 36 million views, like, how do I do that? <laughs> what do I do to get 36 million views? <laughs> we'll find a way. Keep grinding.